the miracle in our universe. All of the life forms known to mankind exist nowhere but here, our home planet, the Earth. Our dream of conquering space has come true. The International Space Station ISS, the largest technological project ever undertaken. People have been living in this outpost of humankind without interruption since the year 2000. So far, more than 100 astronauts have lived, worked, and researched here under unique conditions. Fantastic colors. The Bahamas are beautiful. The Australian outback, uh, Tibet, uh, they have really very nice places. Uh, but it also is, a, is, is fragile. Uh, if you look beside the planet, you see the blackness of space and this thin atmosphere, and uh, you, you feel that it is vulnerable, uh, fragile. The Dutch ESA astronaut will be flying to the ISS along with U.S. astronaut Don Pettit and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko. This is Andrei Kuiper's second trip to the ISS. He spent nine days there in 2004. This time, he'll be staying for five months. It takes the crew two days to reach the ISS. Andre Kuipers is making it possible for us to tag along on this unique journey. The images he records will be the first ever 3D TV documentation of life in space. Coming on board of the space station, that was different. I remember from my first flight when I came in, it smelled a bit oily, metal. Uh, but this time I came in in a, a new Russian module, the MIM-1, and it was still smelling like a new car and uh, very pristine and the walls were clean and uh, so that was uh, interesting to come aboard that way. But I immediately felt at home. Even if it looks light and easy, weightlessness is a stressful condition for the body. The astronauts need two to three hours of physical fitness training each day. Weightlessness causes muscles and bones to atrophy. But how can you lift weights if there's no gravity. Engineers have created complicated sports equipment involving springs and vacuum hydraulics. Houston, Texas, historic, even legendary location. This is NASA's Johnson Space Center. The conquest of space began here in 1961. It's now the starting point for Alexander Gast's biggest adventure. The young German astronaut will fulfill his lifelong dream in 2014. This is when he becomes the third German to travel to the International Space Station. We will follow him around the world as he completes the world's most exclusive training program so his dream can come true. What fascinates me about space travel is that it's the frontier, the final frontier we face as human beings, and it's out there waiting for us. We don't know what's beyond it. I feel the way people probably used to feel when they stood on the beach and looked out at the ocean and asked themselves, what's beyond the horizon? 